So I want to say within the past 48 hours, there have been a lot of information being dropped on this character right here, Heizao. Now, I do apologize if I mispronounce. I promise to get his name down packed here relatively soon, but I wanted to talk about this character because like I mentioned, there's been a lot of information being dropped on him pertaining to his kit as well as some gameplay shown of him and suffice it to say, the gameplay looks amazing. It definitely caught my eye, but I won't be showing any of that here in this video. If you want to see that information, you can click the link in the description down below. You can join the discord and you can go under Genshin Beta News and see all of that information for yourself. But what I wanted to address in this video, because contrary to popular belief, there are a lot of new players that join the game of Genshin Impact every single day, and they may not know this information, even though it's probably common knowledge to veteran players that have been playing the game for quite some time. But one thing that I wanted to address, and the mistake that I think you should avoid with Hazel, especially if you're a new player, free to play player, Light Spender, is not to chase this character. Now, let me go ahead and explain. First and foremost, we're under the assumption that Heizao is going to be a four-star character. That's what has been uh, assumed or have been theorized is that this character is going to be a four-star. Now, what does that mean exactly? Keep in mind, four-star characters in the game of Genshin Impact are arguably some of the best characters in the game, meta-wise and even utility-wise. If you take a look at characters like Bennett, Shang Cho, Sucrose, Fischl, these are all four star characters that are arguably the best characters in the game because of their kit and what they bring to the table. So four star characters are extremely valuable. Now, the thing about it, though, is that no four star character in the game of Genshin Impact is guaranteed. So when you have a four star character on a banner and you're trying to pull said four star, it's not guaranteed you're ever going to get them. Some of my worst shafts that I've ever had in this game is not chasing five stars or trying to obtain a five star. It's actually chasing a four star or trying to obtain a four star. Some that come to mind right off the bat is Rosaria. That was definitely a terrible time trying to get just one copy of that character. Another one that I can think of in the past is Kujo Sara. I believe I went ahead and got Constellation 6 on my Raiden Shogun at the very same time that I got C6 Kujo Sara. That is kind of ridiculous when you think about it. So some of my worst times trying to get a characters have been four stars. And a lot of times what you have to keep in mind, and this is especially for myself, most people, or I should say a lot of people, when they are going for a character or if they like a character, it's usually because of the character's design or their gameplay or their backstory, lore, whatever you want to call it. That's usually what draws individuals to characters and not so much how strong they are per se. Now, obviously, free to play players like spenders, they want to make sure that the strength is there, that the characters quote unquote meta so they're using their intertwined fates and primo gems wisely but i would say for most especially whales or megalodons they just usually go for the character because they look great or their gameplay looks awesome like i mentioned for me specifically i now play the game and go for characters because they look fun or they look great uh, case in point ayato ayato he looks great but his gameplay is extremely fun actually a lot more fun than i thought it was going to be and that makes me want to go ahead and 999 him level 90 and all that good stuff right but if i find the character not fun if i don't enjoy the character's gameplay then usually i don't play said character and they say bench and i don't build them up once again, that's kind of anecdotal and that's specific to me, but I know some people that are like me and only build up characters that they enjoy using. And after seeing Hazel's gameplay and what he's doing and how unique this character is, especially for his weapon type, this character is going to be one that draws people to his gameplay. And that could lead to some individuals trying to chase to get at least just one copy of him. But I just urge you not to, not to chase Hazel, because one thing is he's you know if he is a four star then going to be on a banner with a five star and if this is for 2.8 which it appears to be then it may be a rerun and i would have to say that the five star rerun character you would have to need or want that character in order to go for Hazel. at least that is just my recommendation right if you're only pulling on that said banner for Hazel, then 
I think you're doing yourself a, a disservice, especially once again, if you're free to play or a light spender, uh, y you have a limited source of premium currency. I, I would have to argue against doing that. And another thing is, is that once again, four stars are not guaranteed. So you can pity the banner a couple of times and still not pull a haze out. I mean, the odds of that happening are extremely low i agree with you on that but it could still happen and you would be extremely disappointed and upset that you wasted all those primos and intertwined fates trying to chase a four star character and you may not end up getting them or you may be spending way more than you intended to right and then the last thing that you have to think of is that these four stars always come back a lot more often on another banner as well and it could possibly haze could come back on a banner that introduces a brand new five star that you really enjoy as well that's something to take into consideration so what i'm trying to state here is just not to make the mistake of trying to chase this said four star you know if you enjoy the five star that's on there or you need the five star that's on there or the banner just has a lot of value so for example as Hazel with a bennett or with the shing cho or with the sucrose or just a combination of those three or four characters uh and the rerun is like i doubt it's going to be a kazuma because that'd be two enemos but you know another valuable five star that you need then by all means right throw a few multis and see if you get lucky and hopefully you pull haze out but what I don't want you to do is to chase this character just because you really like him and he looks cool without having any type of guarantee or pity. And then you spend way more than you planned on spending. And then you don't have any primos that are intertwined fates. And, you know, another five star character comes down the line that you really like or enjoy. And you have to miss out because you went all in for this character. Now, of course, this is just my recommendation. At the end of the day, it's up to you. You do what you want to do. And i told you here first and foremost the gameplay looks great like this character looks incredible in terms of gameplay i am all here for his gameplay and, and if you know what i mean if you've seen what uh what i'm referring to then then you understand especially if you've been with me since honkai days fuhua was one of my most favorite characters especially shadow knight and um literally had to look her up because i completely forgot her name and it's a shame because i absolutely adored this valkyrie i loved her gameplay and i loved her skills and so i i, I felt ashamed that i couldn't remember her name but yes <laughs> shadow knight fuhua and uh valkyrie Asipiter, the augmentation hawk of the fog are the two characters that i absolutely love gameplay wise in honkai impact third and Hazel just reminds me of that tremendously, and I can't wait to see the rest of the skills and gameplay. Uh, but anyways, guys, just a quick, quick video today, just talking about Hazel and just the mistake to, to try and avoid. And once again, this is you know common knowledge for my veteran players or players that have been playing the game for quite some time. But for new players or free-to-play players or light spenders, uh, this is just my recommendation to you: a mistake to avoid with Hazel and uh i hope you guys found this video to be helpful if you did drop a like sub if you're new and if you want to support a little bit further or you really really enjoyed this video or you got something from it we have the super thanks now where you can go ahead and donate to the video or to myself directly supports the channel and it's incredible means the world to me thank you so much if you do and if you don't want to do super thanks but you want to support in another way then you can click the link in the description down below it's the sponsor of the channel gamer Subs, and you can pick yourself up a spicy waifu shirt or waifu cup or you can pick yourself up some gamer subs and have energy all day long that tastes amazing but anyways guys i'm gonna get on out of here i love and appreciate each and every one of you i'll see you guys in the next one remember to stand out be different have fun go further beyond in everything that you do my name is Cody. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.